Despite being disappointed that this year's Invictus Games was postponed due to coronavirus, these four athletes took it upon themselves to find a new focus. Chris went above and beyond in his efforts, racking up nine British indoor rowing records on the Concept 2 indoor rower in his disability age and weight categories, including smashing out 100 metres in 17.2 seconds. 21 years in the Royal Engineers, Chris has struggled with self-confidence and self-belief since leaving the Army. We chose to do, or rather I should say Vicky chose, the 100 miles row challenge. This was going to be quite something for me to finish as I row in the PR1 category in a static seated position using just my arms and shoulders only to row with. I've had a lot of help and I just wanted to uh, make sure that during this global pandemic we could keep Help for Heroes going and let somebody else get some help from them and you know if I was going to get some blisters on my hands doing this that I really didn't mind doing that. Kelly Leonard, meanwhile, was due to vice-captain Team UK in The Hague. She had a motorbike accident in 2000, which almost led to her having her foot amputated. It's left her with arthritis in her ankle and needing to use crutches on bad days. She says her mental health has suffered during lockdown. I got on board with this challenge because uh, I found that when we went into lockdown uh, and obviously Invictus had got postponed, it was just difficult to get some focus and to keep me training. I'd get up and do the odd session and then the next day there would be no accountability for me to do something and I found my mental health started spiralling. So when I heard a couple of the teammates talking about doing this challenge, I jumped at it and um, the four of us have completed the 100 miles now. A netball injury picked up playing for the RAF meant Lucy had to have three operations on her ankle, leaving her with severely limited movement. The injury has taken its toll on the 27-year-old, who says she struggled with mental health ever since. We set a challenge back in the beginning of June that we had to do 100 miles off rowing on our indoor row machines by the 20th of June. It has not been easy, but we have completed it as a team and it has been amazing. We've had a love-hate relationship all the way through with our rowing machines, but together we have completed it and the support that we've received has been amazing. Vicky, meanwhile, knows all too well how crippling mental health issues can be. Still serving, her time in the army has resulted in a number of injuries, such as nerve damage in her feet, a shoulder impingement and knee surgery, but it's also left her with severe anxiety. Since the start of lockdown, um, the first week of homeschooling and working from home was a little bit crazy to say the least and on top of the Team UK training um, stopping, you know, at first it was like nice to have a little break but then after a week of having that little break, um, I knew that I needed something to keep me going over lockdown so as well as having the whole family at home which I'm not used to because my husband usually works away my kids are usually bored I definitely needed something to um, to maybe keep on top of my own mental health as, as well as my own physical well-being. Since the start of the pandemic Health for Heroes have received an increase in calls to their mental health and clinical support teams from those who are struggling to cope or worried about the future. And like all charities, they found it hard to operate in lockdown. So the efforts of these four beneficiaries will go a long way to raise vital funds for veterans and their families. They've gone beyond their target with over £1,500 raised so far. And there's more indoor rowing coming up as the Invictus Games Foundation has been working with British Rowing ahead of their virtual championships this weekend. Kath Brazier, Forces News.